What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a really short, concise video. Just the process of making a beat. I got inspired today with a new pedal I got from uh, Maris. I hope I'm saying that right. Called the Auto Bit Junior. <laughs> There's the Sun Bit Junior. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. More on that later. So let's get this. I hope y'all enjoy the beat. Let me know in the comments. If you haven't yet, please do me a solid. Like, subscribe, do all the good stuff if you're vibing with me. All right, let's go. So today's sponsor is DistroKid. And if you are unfamiliar with DistroKid, it is my preferred choice of uploading and releasing my music to all DSPs. So just to give you a little rundown of how it works, you can go to my music to check out all of your releases, past and current releases. And because I have a different label account, I'm usually doing all the releasing for anyone within our Rare Sounds world circle. So you'll see Munch's name in there, uh, Gianluca LRP, along with all mine, Datsun, Matrix. So I'm usually uploading them through this account. If you want to upload music, it's incredibly simple. The whole process is very, very, very quick. They don't lie when they say fastest distribution in the world. So super simple. It's very clear. You just pick all the stores that you want to upload to. If you want to just upload to one and be ex super exclusive, you can do that. In this case, say I was going to drop something for myself, I would put Datsun. It tells me I'm all set and this release will appear in Spotify alongside your other Datsun releases. That is where I want to drop it. Artist already in YouTube music? Yes, I am. So I can just click, that's me. Just to double check, let's go like this. And that is me. So as we see right here, I just click, that's me. Artist already on Instagram. These are new features that have been added recently where you just type in your Instagram URL and it connects to it. So generally I like to drop a track or at least upload it four to six weeks before the actual release date. It gives you a little bit more of a chance to get added into one of those algorithmic playlists and an editorial playlist potentially. Any playlist people out there, get at me. So I always put 
Rare Sounds World is a record label because you know that's what it is. We run an independent label collective. You would choose your artwork, upload it here, the language, primary genre, secondary genre, and you would just put in the track title. It's super simple. Step by step, it's all right there. I always, always, always recommend uploading a wave or I just say go with the highest quality file that you have access to when you go to release your music. So I'd put my full name here. And if you needed to add any other songwriters, you can add 29. Bow, bow, bow. Pretty simple here. Straightforward instructions. And then when it comes to the extras, optional, but awesome. I agree. The store maximizer is a good one just because any new stores that pop up, it will continually be adding it to these new services. I don't really do the loudness normalization, but you are more than welcome to. And if you're on title and you want that encoding, you can choose to do it. Leave a legacy if you want your music to be up there, even if you pass on to another life. Last finishing touches, you would select every single one of these in order to actually make it possible to upload the track. And that's pretty much it. Shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video. All right, let's kick it. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Have a great day.